What's going on guys this is me Ron and welcome to the new video tutorial in this video tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create a multi-user login in Android without using database means a simple multi-user login where the values the values means username password and the user type are supplied statically so you may need multi-user login in your application if you want to have a different feature for different user in your application so without further more any explanation let's get into the today's topic so open up android studio go to file click on new click on new project and give the name of the application and then click on next select phone and tablet and select any version you want i am uh, selecting ice cream sandwich and then click on next select empty activity click on next and then click on finish now gradle build successfully now go to activity underscore main.xml because we need to design a simple ui so click this one and delete this one go to text and drag text view over your layout and arrange it where you want to display and again drag another one and this one is goes over here another one then this one goes over here now drag plain text this one goes over here another plain text this one goes over here and then one spinner so go to container here you can see this is the spinner and drag over here and drag the spinner and arrange it where you want to display let me decrease the size of the spinner and then one button button goes over here now change the property of its control so go to text here the text is username and add another property because we need to increase the font size so text size 25 dp here password you can use password field i am using text uh, field because i need to show you the username and password here goes password and here goes text size and here goes user type Or you can write select user type at text size 20 and is it the id of this text because we are going to take the input from the user it's always good practice to give the id so txt user here goes txt pass and text is empty here again text is empty and spinner id is spinner uh, leave as it is and then button text is login and increase the size text size 25 dp go back to design now you can see the size of this text is increased little bit this is the id of this button ptn login and here you can see here is one error this view is not a constraint it only has a design time position so it will jump 008 run time so to overcome this uh, error go back to design here 
you can see this symbol uh, infer constraint so click this uh, this uh, error will overcome now we need to write the code so go back to main activity dot java and inside this class uh, declare the control edit text txt user txt txt pass and button btn login and spinner now we need to initialize uh, this control over here so txt pass is equal to edit text find b by id r dot id dot txt user sorry txt pass and similar process and similar for button as well find bvid r dot id dot btn login similar for a spinner find bvid r dot id dot spinner we just initialize each control now we need to populate the spinner so to populate the spinner uh, with a list of choices you then need to specify a spinner adapter such as array adapter if the choices are available in an array or a cursor adapter if the choices are available from database query for instance if the available choices for spinner are predefined like in our application that is uh, we are going to define user and admin in this spinner so uh, you can provide them with a string array defined in string resource file so here we are going to define the string array in resource folder so no uh, resource and then values and then click on string dot xml here string array and give the name user type And here goes item user and then admin. Now create an array adapter using the string array and the default listener layer. So go back to main activity dot Java and over here. Array adapter. And here goes character sequence adapter is equal to array adapter dot create from resource and the first parameter is context that this and the second parameter for this method is r dot array dot array name user type and then r dot layout dot support simple spinner drop down item there you go now apply the adapter to the spinner so spinner dot set adapter there goes adapter now the create from uh, resource method allows you to create an array adapter from the string array the third argument uh, is the layout that define how the selected choice appear in the spinner control that means we are going to display drop down item now when the user click this login button 
we need to do all the things so uh, let me create the listening event of the button btn login dot set on click listener new bio there you go we just create the listening event of the button now when the user select the option from the listener that is either user or admin we need to respond uh, to the user selection so when the user select uh, an item from the drop down we need to get the selected item value so for this you can either implement on item selected listener interface in the corresponding on item selected method or use get selected item method i'm gonna teach you the easiest one so here uh, you can either implement the on item selector listener interface and the corresponding on item selected callback method or you can simply get the value of the spinner in this way string item is equal to spinner dot get selected item dot to string because we need to take the value of the user selected item and take this value for the later purpose so uh, we just uh, save the user selected spinner value in item variable and here i'm going to check if txt user dot get text dot true string dot equals we're going to check statically so admin txt pass dot get text dot true string dot equals admin and item dot equals admin so what we are going to do we are going to display the admin activity so intent intent is equal to new intent main main activity dot this and then admin dot class don't worry i'm going to add this activity first of all let me uh, add uh, two activity in our apps so right click over apps new and activity and then select empty activity give the name of the activity admin and then in the activity right click over apps go to new and then activity and then empty activity give the name user click on finish now go to the xml file of recently created activity so go to activity underscore admin dot xml file and from here text drag on text plain text and expand this one and go to text and increase the size here goes admin and then text size 40 dp go back and then click this infer constraint and again go to activity underscore user then process go back to text user text size 40 go back to design again and click this symbol now go back to main activity dot java file and here admin dot class and start activity intent else
else if txt user dot simply copy this and here simply paste this and change the item dot equals here goes user and again copy this one and paste over here and what we need to uh, display we need to display user dot class and else what we need to display to the user toast dot make text get application context here we need to display the message to the user error and toast dot length long dot show so that's it if the user enter uh, admin username admin password and select the admin from the spinner the user go to a admin activity or else if the user enter admin admin and uh, select the user from the spinner go to user activity or else if the user enter wrong username and password then this message will be displayed to the user so simply uh, run this application so click this play button select you can either run this in your built-in android studio and your virtual device or third party i am using third party that is genuation so there you go enter the username admin password admin and select the user type admin and then click on login there you go admin activity is open go back and if you select user user activity is open and if you enter wrong username and password you will get error so that's it in this video tutorial guys so if you like this video share this video with your friends so that they can know about this useful tutorial and give thumbs up which really motivates us to make such programming video and stay connected with this channel in order to stay connected with this channel subscribe this channel and don't forget to press that bell icon so when i upload a new video you will get notification and thank you once again for watching this video have a good day bye bye